I said this for all my yummy mummies. We're going to do a pregnancy workout starting off with squats, feet hip distance apart. Make sure you engage your pelvic floor and core and just make always make room for your baby. So sinking your hips back, make sure your knees are tracking up to your second toe. Really trying to find engagement through our core and pelvic floor. So keeping our upper body nice and upright. We're going to hold it here and just pulse. So little tiny pulses, small movements actually will burn a lot more. Just make sure your knees are still tracking. Back's nice and straight. Slight tuck of your tailbone because you're going to want to pull your tailbone back anyway. I'm just going to rise up onto one toe and pulse in here. Dropping down and coming back up onto the other side and pulsing. Coming through centre, just holding. We're going to do some pelvic tilts. So this is really good to help mobility through your pelvis, but also to strengthen all through your pelvic region and hips, which all pregnant mummies need. So just tucking our pelvis and then we're going to come down to quad extension. So tabletop position, wrists under elbows, knees under hips. We're going to extend one leg, one arm up and just tapping down. So try and find a slight tuck of your tailbone here. Keep hugging your belly back towards your spine and just lifting up and down. About 20 of them on each side. Don't come up too high. Think for length rather than height. Okay. Then we're going to bend that knee and press that heel up towards the sky for glute lifts. So think about pressing your heel up towards the sky, engaging through your glute and only coming up to hip height. So don't lift your leg above hip height because you'll just start strengthening through your lower back. Okie dokie. Coming onto the other side. So extending right arm, left leg. And again, aim for length rather than height. So lifting up to hip height and down. The slower you do this, the more control you use. So don't rush it. Coming into our donkey kicks or leg lifts, keep pressing that heel. And imagine that line beneath your bum and your hamstring where that meets, really squeezing that. Lift your leg up. So you want to feel like you're really using your glute to lift your whole leg. Just slightly tuck your toes. We kind of come into some tiny little knee tucks. So just pressing through your hands and your toes, hug your belly back towards your spine and just lifting your knees up, tapping down, and then we hold for five seconds, tap five times, and then holding up for five seconds. Coming into quad push-ups. So keep your belly drawing in, your tailbone slightly tucked, and just taking your chest and nose towards the ground. So your hips should stay nice and high here, so we're not putting too much pressure through our belly. And if you feel like this is putting pressure through your belly, just only come halfway down, okay? You don't want to feel like you're straining at all with this. You really want to try and isolate your chest muscles with this exercise. Okay, do Grabbing your weights. So I've got one kilogram weights here, so that's you don't need really heavy weights. Hug your hips in, feel nice and stable, and we're just pressing those weights up above our head. So coming down in line with our shoulders and pressing the weight up above your head. So shoulder press, this is a really good one for strengthening your upper body, your shoulders, and also your biceps. Okie dokie. Just turning side on, we're gonna do rows. So imagine there's a pencil between your shoulder blades. You wanna be squeezing back and squeezing onto that pencil, lengthening out and stretching those arms in front of you. So just about 10 to 20 of each of them. Okay, coming into a narrow squat stance, tricep flies. So extend both hands behind you, lean your body forward and really squeeze your triceps. So really trying to isolate our triceps here. I think triceps are so important for pregnant mums. Tiny little bend and extension. So just going through these exercises quite quickly, but just want you to get an idea of just some of the variations you can do. Okay, we're going to do bent over a row here. So dropping the weights down, really squeezing that pencil between your shoulder blades. Trying to use your shoulders and your back to draw your arms up. So you're really squeezing through the back of your body. Okie dokie. We're just going to take our hands out wide, just tiny little circles here. They really work your shoulders. So you can see why I've only got one kilo. And coming into some bicep curls. So just trying to target all the muscles in our upper body. Um, just to help support you. So when you're coming to breastfeeding, carrying that baby, you're nice and strong. 
that's it. I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks so much for doing this with me. Bye guys.